Accessibility Stories, brought to you by DQ. My name is Julie, and this is my accessibility story. Going to a physical store as opposed to a website, for me, is, is much more difficult because, number one, I have to get transportation to that store, but I also then have to get somebody to help me find what I'm looking for. Then I have to carry it home, and that's not easy either. And I like having things delivered to my door. When I go to shopping websites, the most frustrating thing that I find is that, number one, they have lots of graphics, but they don't give any detail as to what that is. For example, with clothing, they, they might tell you what brand, what kind of shirt it is, but they have no description of it. So I won't buy clothes online. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I can't do that. I want to know what I'm buying, and I don't want to have to send it back. What I experience when I get to a website that's inaccessible is nothing. It, I, I click on uh, the link to go to the web page, and I wait a while, and nothing happens. It sounds like nothing happens. I don't know what's going on. So I just get out of that web page. Websites that are, are built with accessibility in mind are much easier to use. They're, they're fully accessible. You go there, the computer loads up the page immediately, starts talking to you, starts reading the, the headings. It will read the whole page to you. And even though there's graphics on that page, it will have a label saying what that graphic is. I, I really appreciate that.